a scenario where two ways meet. Have we learned about this scenario earlier? We have learned about it. This scenario, or this thing is called interference. Okay? So we are going to learn about interference in light. Which is exactly same what you have learned in class 11th. But then we are just repeating the same thing. And then we are going to learn about uh, how this particular concept can be used in some experiment like Young's double set experiment. Okay? Fine. So, right now interference. Now first tell me how the wave equation looks like y is equal to? That is SHM equation, omega t plus 1. How the wave equation looks like? Kx minus omega t. Fine. For some reason in your book they have taken cos function. That is also fine. Okay, just plus pi by 2 if you put it becomes cos. So we will be consistent with consistent with the book. So we will use that only. Write down a1 cos k1x minus omega 1t. This is first wave. Okay. And let us say the second wave is a2 cos k2x minus omega 2t plus 5. End out. What is the phase difference between them? No. No. What is the phase of this wave? What is the phase of this wave? Phase. K1x minus omega 1t. So phase. of y1 is k1x minus omega 1t phase of y2 is what? k2x minus omega t plus 5 so phase difference is what? it becomes k2 minus k1 times x minus of omega 2 minus omega 1 times t plus 5 this becomes a phase difference Okay? Now what happens to this phase difference? Does it remain constant with time? This phase difference changes with time. It's a function of time. Fine. And this phase difference depends on location also. Where are you take it? Okay? See location you can fix that I will only observe at x equal to 2 cm. Okay, you can observe at a particular location, but even if you fix the location with time, phase changes. Are you getting it? So right now this is the scenario. Let us see what is the implication of this kind of phase difference. Okay. So for the sake of simplicity, we are assuming that amplitude of both the waves are same. Okay. So we just take it A, both sides. Alright. Now when these two waves meet, they will have superposition. Fine. And we will now apply law of superposition. What does law of superposition mean? Y will become just equal to y1 plus y2. Okay. So let's try to do that. Y is equal to y1 plus y2. Try to simplify this further. K1x minus omega 1t plus a k2x minus omega 2t plus 5. Okay, one more thing. Suppose you are observing interference at fixed location at x equal to something. Fine. You can put your origin there. You can say that is my x equal to 0. So getting the point. Right. So I will observe interference at x equal to 0. Alright. So when you put x equal to 0 this these terms will get simplified to omega 1t plus a cos omega 2t minus 5 like this it gets simplified fine this is y now simplify it further so this will become 2a cos a plus b by 2 that will be omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2 times t minus of 5 by 2 
become equal to minus 1 as well as plus 1. The intensity will be same. Okay? So that is why I am writing phi by 2 equals to n pi. No matter whether n is even or odd. Then what will happen? Constructive difference will happen. So phi is equal to 2 n pi. So if the phase difference is 2 n pi, constructive and if it, this happens, then it is destructive. This is destructive difference and this is constructive interference. Any doubt? Huh? Sir, uh, we have delta phi is 32 minus 31, p phi is 31. Huh. But the second case, after we simplify that, we have to do 32. One phi uh, phase is 3 to the omega t. So what? omega t minus 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2. No, omega 1 is equal to omega t. So this goes. So, Brahman, suppose we consider the same thing in the second uh, final form. Yeah. Yeah. So, omega t minus 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2. No, these are not two waves. This, you are not, I mean, this is the outcome of these two waves. These are the two waves. They are meeting. These two are traveling waves same direction, they create another traveling wave only, this, whose amplitude is 2a cos phi by 2. Okay? Now, there can be other, so we have to analyze this further. So, I will just take a little bit more time. <clears throat> so, if intensity is I0 earlier, I0 is the intensity earlier, fine. We know that intensity is proportional to amplitude square. Know this? Right? So intensity is suppose equal to some constant times a square. This is initial intensity of first wave. What is the initial intensity of second wave? Some constant times a square. Fine. And what is the intensity of resultant wave? Some constant times this square. This is the amplitude. Fine. So this is 4 a square cos square phi by 2. Okay? I can write this as 4 C A square that is 4 I naught cos square phi by 2. So resultant intensity is 4 I naught cos square phi by 2. Okay? And out of this anything? No. Fine. Now these are the situation when happens when intensity of both the waves are same. Suppose intensities are different. Okay? So you can write down this formula which you can use. I resultant intensity will be equal to I1 plus I2 plus 2 root I1 I2 cos of 5. So this is the resultant intensity when Two waves having different intensity meet having phase difference phi. Okay? Okay, so remember these small small things because the numericals will be based on some mathematical thing only. Fine. So if the uh, if the two waves are correlated, it is all about it is all about how much is the phase difference between them. Depending on what is the phase we can see different different things can happen. There can be constructive difference, there can be destructive difference and there are so many other scenarios that lies between these two. Constructive as well as destructive depending on phi. There are only two extreme scenarios. This is for constructive and this is for destructive. Fine. Can you find out intensity in the case of constructive difference? In the case of constructive difference, suppose I know is the intensity, initial intensity. So when constructive difference happens, what is the intensity? Yeah, I know. What is the formula you are using? I is equal to 4 I naught cos square 5 by 2. So how much is I resultant intensity? Four I naught. Right? So I naught and I naught meets and energy becomes four times. Okay? In case of destructive difference, I0 and I0 becomes 0. So, 
Okay? So, what happens in case cos phi also plays a part phi? Also, in constructive difference, phi is got 2 and pi. Substitute that. So, you get cos square n pi, which is plus minus 1, the square it becomes 1. Any other doubt? Not out? Okay.